I want to show you an interesting strategy that you can use if you have embedded videos on your website. Basically, you can create uh, audiences, custom audiences on Facebook, but also um, audiences on Google, Google Analytics, Google Ads, uh, Pinterest and Bing. And you can um, then create a special uh, advertising strategy for those audiences. The idea is uh, you'll know what interest those audience, audiences have based on the video that they watched. Um, I will show you an example with one um, video we have on our homepage. Well, it's a video with me talking about how Pixel Your Site was born. So I assume that if you watch, let's say 50% of that video, you are quite interested in our product. So maybe I should um, target you with some ads on Facebook. That's, that's the point of this strategy. Um, how you can do it is very simple. You can use um, our signal event and one of its triggers. The signal event, it's an event uh, Pixel Your Site fires automatically, tracking various actions like video views in this example, but also clicks on links. So you can uh, use it for affiliate links, um, comments, downloads. There, there is a large list of uh, triggers this event can have and each event will have a number of parameters that will allow you to identify that action very easily. Uh, so I will show you how to create a custom audience for people that watch a particular video on your website. And uh, let's start. So this is our homepage and right here we have a video. As I said, it's me talking about Pixel Your Site. It's quite boring. Um, but if you watch this video, boy, you are really interested in Pixel Your Site. And I will use Pixel Helper to see which event is fired when I play this video. Okay, let's cut this, the sound. And you have a signal event right here uh, with event action video play. It means that I just played, I just started the video. As soon as we reach 10%, we will have a, an event action, a signal event with event action 10%, and then um, a signal event with 50%. And this is the one that I want to track. We also have the video title right here. So this is the title of uh, my embedded video, a billion dollar for pixel your site. No, no. Not even close, but anyway. Um, so what I want is to create a custom audience starting from the signal event with um, a parameter video title with value a billion dollars for pixel your site and another parameter uh, event action 50%. Let's check again. So let's check again if we have that particular um, signal event. Not yet. We are still 10%. Okay, it will come. It will come and we are uh, going to use it. So um, we have other signal events here because uh, we have one that tracks, for example, scroll on page, one that tracks times, time on page. It's set to, I think, 30 seconds. So after 30 seconds, oh, come on, it's disturbing to see me in so many places so let's keep let's keep it this way um, so there you might see various signal events because you they the, this event tracks many many actions so you have to identify open each one and identify the one that you want to use we are still not yet at 50 percent of video it's a long video but anyway let's let's not wait for uh, that particular event because we know the structure that we want to use again we will use um, signal and um, video title, this value here, and um, event action video 50%. How I'm going to uh, create this custom audience is very easy. Let me just show it to you. Okay. So I am in my um, business manager. There is a link somewhere around here which will open the audience page maybe you have already some audiences if you don't have you can start 
from zero. Just a second. I need my keyboard. And it will be super simple. Custom audience, website. Uh, I want pixel your site. And I want the signal event. Now you can define for how long people will be part of this audience. The um, uh, maximum uh, time is 180 days. So I will leave it to 30 days, it's fine by me. And I will refine our parameter. And the parameter is the video title. Video title contains back to my website. I think we already have uh, the 50% the signal, not yet. I told you it's a very long video. I'll just copy the value from here. No, I cannot copy it. Uh, I will type it. So contains I think this is enough because contains it's super easy to understand uh, every uh, parameter with those uh, words will be part of uh, will trigger the, the, the audience and I also want um, event action contains uh, what was the exact name event action video 50% okay this is enough let's give it a name it's uh, B. you can add a description and click create you can also um, have a lookalike or various lookalikes based on these uh, custom audience. I, I will not make them right away, but uh, it's very easy and very simple. As you can see right here, uh, I created a custom audience for people that watched 50% of that uh, video on my homepage. Now, what I can do, I can run some campaigns targeting them and uh, I don't know, showing them another video maybe with me talking about some plugin features explaining what works or how to better use the plugin or I can offer them I don't know an insensitive like something uh, interesting that can make them buy the product uh, you get the idea it's uh, very very easy to understand um, I can also create custom audiences in the same way using the same conditions this might be very interesting if you want to uh, optimize your ads for video views but I will not do this here. Uh, the same thing can be done, as I said, on Google, on Google Analytics, on Google uh, Ads, on Pinterest and Bing. So this is it. This is a, one of the ways you can use our signal event with um, the, the, the signal event that tracks embedded video views. It works for YouTube videos and for Vimeo videos. So uh, other videos are not yet supported. Maybe we'll add support for other video, videos as well. This is it. I hope you find it uh, interesting and maybe you can have some ideas of how to use this uh, signal event fire by Pixel Your Site. Oh, one more thing. The trigger for uh, uh, tracking embedded video views, embedded video views is part of our professional package. So it's not part of the free plugin. If you uh, use the free plugin, you need to upgrade to the paid version in order to use this particular feature.